I'm here with Stan Brock, the founder of Remote Area Medical, and we are at the Oakland Coliseum just finishing up a day of providing dental, vision, medical, acupuncture, orthopedic care. And Stan, it's just past six o'clock, and I've heard from some volunteers that there's already a line of people waiting to get in for tomorrow. Well, this actually is quite common at all these events, and we've done, we've done now, this is number 663 of these, and uh, so it's just par for the course. People are going to have to uh, line up um, many, many hours before the uh, event opens, which of course is normally 5.30 in the morning. So I'm not surprised at all that there are a lot of people out there already. And I met some people who had been here since 10 last night. They got three fillings. I met a mother and a daughter who can now see the world's no longer blurry because they got glasses. And, you know, some of the volunteers said I expected there to be sort of homeless people here. And these are people who lost a job or maybe are working and can't make ends meet. I mean, you see this all over the country. Are you surprised anymore? No, not surprised at all, because, uh, as you say, it's, uh, you can sort of close your eyes and stick a pin on the map of the United States and go there. Mm. And uh, you're going to find uh, people there by the hundreds and, in many cases, by the thousands uh, that need the service. Um, it's just simply unaffordable, particularly in uh, dental and, and vision care. Uh, the general medical, you know, they can go to the emergency room uh, perhaps and have it taken care of, but not their teeth and not their eyes. And a lot of the health insurance doesn't cover dental and vision. No, no, it doesn't at all. And uh, so it, it's a very, very small percentage of people in this country that have uh, insurance that covers those uh, two key items. And yet dental is so crucial. I mean, it's connected to... If you have a bad tooth and you let it fester, it can affect so many other parts of your body. Well, well in fact, of course, it can cause uh, death. Right. And uh, unfortunately, it still does. You know, before the uh, discovery of penicillin, um, uh, bad teeth were uh, a leading cause of, uh, of, of death uh, amongst people throughout the world. And we're still seeing people dying of uh, bad teeth here mm. in the United States. Uh, <laughs> You're going to Sacramento next, and I saw your list. You're just going and going. And that's your plan, just to continue bringing this clinic to different towns across the country? Oh, yes, um, uh, because the need is so great. Mm -hmm. In fact, when we leave here, and we go to Sacramento, of course, but after that, on our way back to our headquarters in Tennessee, I'll be stopping at the Pine Ridge uh, Indian oh, Reservation really? uh, to make arrangements for another one that we'll be holding there. And um, uh, so uh, it's an ongoing thing, unfortunately. I'd like to see us work ourselves out of a job so that we can concentrate our efforts where we sort of began, in places like the Amazon and Haiti, of course. But uh, we're, we're bogged down here in the United States, and I think for years and years to come. Wow. Have you been to an Indian reservation before? Oh, yes. Doing this work? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, interestingly enough, um, you know, the percentage of children that we see of these events in the general population is, is, is quite low, only 2 or 3%, um, which I'm very happy about because all the rest of the patients that come are those in the 29 to 64 age group. But when we go to uh, one of the Indian reservations, as we did um, uh, several months ago, um, we saw 44% of mm. children, which would be the kind of ratio children to adults that we would see in a place like Guatemala. Wow. So uh, there's a tremendous need at, the, at these reservations. So you, you don't see, I mean, there's obviously a big health care debate happening in this country, the Supreme Court's taking the case on, but in terms of dental and vision, you don't see that changing really any time in the near future in terms of coverage and making, making it better for people to access coverage and care. Yeah, it, it, for some reason, it's not on. Uh, it's not on. Let's say the politicians' radar right. scope. Uh, that this is such a serious problem mm. of uh, dental care in this country, and and of course vision care. And um, it, somebody really needs to do something about it. Yeah, and some we need to get some politicians at this clinic to see what people are actually going through. Well, you know, <laughs> I absolutely agree. I mean, there's nothing like coming here at five thirty in the morning. Well, take this morning for example. Uh, uh, somebody asked me, well, what are all these people out there for? And there were like 800 people outside the gate. And I said, well, we'll ask for a show of hands. How many people are here to see the dentist? And all the hands went up. How many people are here to see the eye doctor? Hope to get a pair of glasses. All the hands go up. And how many people are here to see a medical doctor? 
we've got women's health, we've got you know diabetic uh, specialists and heart specialists and, and acupuncturists, etc. And just three or four hands went up hmm. because they're so preoccupied with that pain right. that they want to get rid of in their, uh, because of bad teeth. Or they want to get a pair of glasses so they can see so the function. They can see. Yeah. <laughs> Stan Brock is founder of Remote Area Medical. We're in Oakland today at the Oakland Coliseum, and he's heading to Sacramento soon. Stan, thank you so much. Thank you very much.